All right, welcome back to the Garage Woodcarver. I'm here with my lowly apprentices, Sophie and Spencer. And uh, last time, this is part two of the video about uh, doing shellac. And um, so the last time we had our button shellac that we dissolved in alcohol, you remember that? And we filled it up to just above the, um, above the ground up shellac flakes, which were actually kind of like buttons, we ground them up. But anyhow, so uh, I actually added more um, alcohol into that just to kind of make it dissolve a little uh, faster. I don't know if that actually worked, but it's been a couple days. It's all dissolved. This is what the, the original, the base looks like, and we're going to be working from this jar. And I've already added um, two ounces here of the base and then another eight ounces of alcohol. So we're making a four to one mixture, and you can still, it's still pretty cloudy and, uh, and dark. And I kind of like this shellac anyhow. What we're going to do though is fill it up pour this into here, because this is kind of what I like to work from. It's easy to squirt it into our pad. And let me get a funnel real quick. Yeah. And I labeled this one shellac, because I don't want to get a bunch of other junk, like motor oil or something in my shellac. I'm doing it, so yeah. I'll just use this one for shellac. So we're going to fill this up. No, that'd be great. I'm just saying, you're like accidentally. No, I've never tried it. But what I, what I was saying is that I don't want to get some adulterant into my shellac. Uh, so basically, this is just alcohol and shellac flakes, right? So good. So we're going to go from there, and we have our pad that we've already made up. We're going to make up another one. We kept, keep it in the jar, and it's still, you can see that, it's still. Whoa. So wet, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, because yeah. the jar keeps the alcohol from evaporating. And you um, can trim some of these little hairs or whatever. But And then when we're actually working with it, we're just going to take this and squirt it into the back. We have a bit of cotton uh, wadding in here. And then um, the cover is just a cotton canvas. Uh, you can use kind of anything. Uh, linen is supposed to be really good if you have that for because uh, it's really durable. This is a pretty thick canvas um, that I just had. I had some of it lying around. I like to use a white cloth, but I don't know if it really matters as long as it's color fast. It doesn't bleed the colors into your into your work. But you can fill up quite a bit of this before it actually starts uh, coming through. And what we're this is acting like a, a sponge, and we're going to apply pressure with it. So this is probably pretty good. Once I start putting pressure on it. It's gonna, it's gonna start working it through. Mm -hmm. Add a little more. Ideally, I should be able to squeeze it and get just a, a bit of shellac coming through there. Yep, all right, that's starting to work. It's starting to wick to the front. So you can see that. And I'm gonna hold it like that. And Spencer, if you wanna hit your project. So the kids are working on these, um, these sword plaques, I guess. And this one's gonna have mounts for two swords on it. And uh, so they're gonna put some shellac finish on that. And we're also gonna show you these. And these are the brackets they made to actually put um, put the swords in. So uh, this is Sophie, if you wanna grab yours, I'll show you that. Oh, yeah, sure. Cool, all right, seeing yours kind of. Sophie, that's yours. And these are her little brackets. So she's gonna have two brackets right here for her sword, and then a holder for her uh, metal, and these are for jujitsu prizes, I thought. And then Spencer's gonna, he's got two swords, so he's gonna have two brackets, one here, or two here and two here. Yeah. Kinda hold the swords in the middle. But anyways, we've made these, they're small parts, so I've actually just um, put some screws through this piece of cardboard. And uh, so that way we're able to like brush on the shellac on all, uh, all the edges of this. So we're going to start with that. But, uh, so that's the plan. Anyhow, that's part two of Shellac. Hope you guys learned something. And um, stay tuned for, we're going to do an unboxing video for uh, some chisels that we got. So stay tuned for that. All right. Thanks for joining.